Hey guys, it's Jules from Life's Art, and today we're going to be talking about a bullet journal. What's a bullet journal? Well, I recently learned what a bullet journal is myself. When a lady came to take a watercolor class from me, uh, we got to talking, and she said, you know, I put uh, watercolor on my list for 24 things I want to do in 2024, 24 times. And I said, oh, that sounds interesting. What's that all about? Um, so I went home and did a little research and found that it's tw actually called a bullet journal uh, where you do 24 goals or things that will enrich your life. Uh, 24 times and in the year, which this year is 2024. Isn't that fun? So uh, it's always great to have a reason to enrich your life and uh, a way that kind of motivates you to do some of the things that you wish that you could do or always wanted to do and just haven't started doing them yet. So it is almost the end of April and that's okay because it's never too late to start. We still have lots and lots of months to complete this bullet journal. Um, so let's look at what mine looks like. Oh, it's long and really long. Um, up at the top, I put bullet journal. And then I have the spaces here for what I, uh, what those things are. And we'll talk about those in a minute. Some of them have a line to actually write what it is you did. And other ones just have a space for uh, just putting the date. So we're gonna go through what I decided to do for my bullet journal in 2024. Um, let's begin. My first one is new restaurant or food. Um, I love trying new restaurants. I love going out. I love delicious food. Who doesn't? I don't know. Um, so these are not in any order whatsoever, uh, but they're just, this is just the order that I have. So here is my first one, try new food. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things on there so far. I did take a trip, so I have some restaurants from Pagosa Springs, Santa Fe, uh, and then others right here in Colorado where I live. Delicious, yum. Uh, I have La Choza in Santa Fe. I have 10,000 Waves in Santa Fe. Um, and then, like I said, just a couple from my hometown here in Colorado. So that's a fun one. The next one on the list is live shows. One of my favorite things to do is to go see live music. Here's my dog, Daisy. Mm -hmm. um, I love seeing live music. So whenever I can get out and go see a live band or a live show, that is just one of my favorite things to do. So on the list, at the top of the list, I have Little Bear. So the Little Bear in Evergreen uh, is a great place to go see a show. So check that out if you're ever up here. I live, also, I live eight minutes from Red Rocks Amphitheater, so I have a couple of those shows on the list coming up, one being uh, Lyle Lovett, another one being Vampire Weekend, so can't wait for that. All right, since I love music so much, or one of the reasons why I love so music, why I love music so much is uh, because I play a variety of musical instruments. Um, so my third bullet point on the list is uh, music practice. So I play the drums, the guitar, the bass, and the ukulele, and I like to sing. So um, I recently joined a band. I don't think we'll be playing out. It's kind of more for fun, but I will let you know if we play out. Uh, so music practice is the third on the list. And that one, um, I don't have a place to put the actual uh, where it was, just the date on which that I did practice that music. Um, next is hike. 
I live obviously in the mountains, as you can see. Uh, so taking a hike is one of the many awesome things that Colorado has to offer me. Um, I have yet to add uh, a notch in my belt, so to speak, for for hike, but I will be doing that as summer is now finally here. Uh, workout is the next one. I joined a Pilates gym down in Lakewood where I live, down the hill as I call it, down the hill, 20 minutes from my house. Um, so Pilates is amazing. If you've never tried it, it's great because it just stretches your body. Um, it's about stretching and breathing and doing uh, simple things that are just good and healthy for your body. I never leave feeling like totally sweaty or maxed out, but I always leave feeling healthy and great. So Pilates is awesome. Um, 80 ounces of water is the next one. Uh, you can see here I got at Costco. Oh my God, here is my 80 ounces of water. The cool thing about this is on this side, it'll tell you uh, where you should be at a certain time. And I'm a little behind, so. <sighs> 80 ounces of water. That's a good one to put on your bullet list because... Uh, it's a good thing to do. I have lots of those. I have lots of workouts and lots of bullet points under uh, 80 ounces of water. Okay, my next one is days off. I am a small business owner. I own Evergreen Art School in Evergreen, Colorado. I also own Wall of Sound murals where I do custom large scale, beautiful murals that are so vibrant you can Feel them with all of your senses, hence wall of sound. Um, but since I'm a small business owner of two small businesses, I rarely, rarely, rarely have a day off. Uh, I did take my daughter to Santa Fe, as we talked about, for spring break. So I do have a few days checked off there. But out of the 10-day spring break, I was only managed to... I only managed to take three days off. Um, and what do you mean by that? I mean, uh, corresponding with parents, lesson plans. Uh, there's so many behind the scenes things that I have to do and think about for those two businesses uh, that it is difficult for me to take an actual day off where I don't email or look at my website or keep up the website or make a phone call or any of those things. So good job with your three days off this year, Jules. Okay, what's next? Band practice. I told you I just joined a band um, it, where I sing, do a little bit of drumming, but mostly play the rhythm guitar and backup singing. So it's been super fun. Uh, we've tossed some names around. I'll get back to you on what those, what the final name will be. Meditate is the next one. This one is super uh, high on the list, not high on my list in this order, but higher on the list as far as self-growth, feeling better, um, and just leading a very healthy lifestyle. Um, I recommend that you try it and put it on your bullet list for 2024. And the cool thing about the bullet list is you don't have to, if you don't get 24 of these accomplished, just one or two is still awesome. And uh, it's better to do it once than to never do it at all, right? Um, and meditating is just so good for the soul to relieve your brain from whatever chaos is going on in your mind is uh, is good. Like I said, even if you did it one time in this year, that would be better than no times in this year. Um, the next one is date night. 
Uh, even if you don't have a significant other, you could take yourself out on a date or your kid out on a date or maybe even your dog out on a date, who knows? Uh, so I have a few of, of the date nights um, and this is really important to, to have. It's important to go out and do something special for yourself with someone that you care about, right? Uh, okay, next is dog walk. Obviously, I have this cute little dog right here. Her name is Daisy. Um, I do take her out every day, but when I say dog walk, I mean like a substantial like 20 minute walk. Something that really gets her into a new spot where she can smell new things, right? And just kind of be in a new surrounding that's important for every mammal, not just humans, okay? So dog walk. Uh, a thing that I love to do is give. I love to give. I also like to declutter my house. So Goodwill trip is on the list. Um, if it's one item or a whole bag of items, you can check that off on your bullet journal, right? Um, I have a child, she's 10, so she's constantly growing, so that's easy. But it's also nice to go through your closet and just let go of some stuff. One of the projects that I personally started was um, with my closet, I realized that there's so many things in there that I haven't worn in like over a year. So what I'm doing right now is I'm calling it, I'll come up with a name right now, what should I call it? The wash and store wash and store it away so i'll wear something and then i'll wash it and then i'm putting it under my bed i'm putting it away and that's going to force me to wear everything in my closet at least once and let's say there's a shirt in there and let's say i'm going out um i can put try on the shirt if i don't like it uh if or it doesn't suit me for that day or that moment i can put it back on the shelf but then i'm giving it like three times and if i don't decide to wear that in those three times then it's going in the goodwill pile right and i'm making my way slowly through all of my clothes um, like I said, once it gets warm, it gets washed and it gets put away under my bed so I can't even access it or say, wow, I really want that comfort shirt that I always seem to go to, my go-to comfort shirt, is now under the bed and I can't even get to it. So I'm forced to go through my closet. So I'm really, really liking that because I'm like, whoa, I haven't seen these pants in, you know, over a year where have you been, cool pants? Uh, and here they are, and so I wear them. Uh, so that's that. Mad Men is next. Um, I'm on my actual third time watching Mad Men, but now I'm watching it with a friend because I was in advertising uh, for 20 years. I was a creative director in Chicago. And it was a big part of my life. Uh, I'm glad... I retired from that and now I'm doing other stuff, but I always talk about advertising and I always talk about Mad Men and it's such a great show, filmed in the 50s and 60s, great um, eras to reminisce and look on, the fashion, everything. Uh, so I'm watching it with my friends. So we get together and we watch it and then we can mark it off on the bullet journal. All right, next is hot bath or cold plunge. I have this on there because uh, hot baths are so good for us as are cold plunges. Um, but hot baths in particular are great for blood flow, heat therapy, support uh, in, for your heart. Uh, hot baths help fight depression and you get better sleep. So try taking some hot baths. Everyone's got, well, not everyone, I guess, but most people have a bathtub and they go unused. Get in your hot bath and take a hot bath. Uh, this morning, I took a hot shower and then at the very end, I go, whoosh, and I turn it all the way to cold. <gasps> 
and I can barely read sometimes, but it's so good for waking you up and recharging your brain. A cold water is good for all that stuff. So I recommend hot bath slash cold plunge to put it on your list. All right, next is game night. I love playing games, but not everybody that you come across likes playing games. So by putting it on my bullet journal, it kind of is like, helps me to remember that I could suggest a game night when there's nothing to do. And then hopefully I can charge others around me who I'm with to say yes and play a family game, or not if, if you're not with your family, play a game with your friends. Love it. Uh, get off of your cell phones, your iPhones, get off of your iPads and get back in time and play a game with like dice and cards and things. How great is that? Great, love it. Um, next is call a friend. Call a friend or loved one. It's so special to call somebody instead of just texting them. When most of the time we just text, 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 text. But when I actually do give my friends and loved ones a call, they feel good, I feel good, great. Even if I just leave a lengthy message because they can't pick up because most people don't call each other anymore, they still get to hear that message and that makes their day even better. Um, where am I? Oh, book or podcast. I don't have a lot of time to read. Like I said, I have two small businesses, so read. Are you kidding? So I put podcast on there because um, I love a good... And when I say podcast, I guess I really mean like YouTube video. Um, the two that I've been watching a lot are Joe Dispenza. Look him up. He's um, He helps you with your mind. Your mind has the power to heal your body. So when you can think positively, um, you can be more positive. In other words, you can think yourself into being healthy or you can think yourself into being sick. And a lot of times we think ourselves into being sick and stressful and chaos and all of this stuff. But it also, you can also get way back into your pineal gland right back here. You can breathe into back there and you can think positively and you can create positive emotions that will give you the maximum amazing life and help you reach your goals. So that's really cool. I also listened to Wayne Dyer, who is the father of motivation, uh, a self-help dude, motivational speaker. His uh, most famous quote is, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. Eckhart Tolle, I listened to him, The Power of Now. So that's kind of the audio books that I'm listening to now. Um, next is new movies. I don't uh, have live television. I just have a smart TV because, and I love movies. I think it's better than just watching kind of mindless junk that the TV delivers to you with commercials and things. Um, so I love watching movies. I've got quite a few of them checked off here. Some with my 10 year old that are kids movies, others that, you know, are more adult movies. Um, a few that I've seen lately are The Call of the Wild. It's so old, like uh, Ricky Schroeder was in it. <laughs> uh, it was uh, a good one. Um, Kung Fu Panda 4, my daughter and I went to see. The Hunger Games 4, which was pretty good. And uh, Family Switch. <laughs> um, I just love movies, so the that's on my list. Next is three fruits and veggies a day. Sometimes that can be hard to do, right? But what I started doing is eating a banana for breakfast, eating an avocado for lunch, 
And then hopefully getting in peas and corn and other vegetables, salad for dinner. Uh, those are, that's three, right? That makes three. Um, it can be as easy as that. So give that one a try. Social outings. Where I live, I live in the foothills, as you can see, and everything closes at eight and everything is dark. There's no street lights around me. It's very dark around here. Um, so a lot of people kind of stay in and it's good to stay in. There's nothing wrong with staying in, right? Family game night, movies, all the things I already talked about. But getting out and being social is fun and important. So uh, I look for times where I can go out and meet my friends. Therefore, social outing is on the list. Task or making progress on something. That's a good one. I just did my spring cleaning. Check. What else do I have? Um, I have giving my dog a bath. That's a task that you don't often, you know, that you gotta, you gotta do. Um, let's see. Keeping up with this uh, bullet, this bullet journal. I often forget, right? Because life gets away from us and we're checking off all these, we're doing all of these wonderful things, but it is a task to actually check it off and remember what you did and write the date. Um, and also it can be progress on something. Um, I just did the, my taxes. So that was a task that I crossed off. Good job, Jules. Taxes. All right, next is new experience. Wow, I love this one. Um, a big part of my life is just new experiences. I love to get out of my house and do new cool things. Uh, it's, it's, I love it. So new experiences. Um, for spring break, my daughter and I went to Pagosa Springs and we did dog sledding. I recommend it, super fun. I have 10,000 waves in Santa Fe where we actually cooked meat on a 500 degree rock. That was really neat. And we sat uh, traditional Japanese style on the floor. That was super fun. That's a cool new experience. Um, I went to Georgie O'Keeffe's house in Abiquiu. That was awesome. So cool. What a cool, neat lady. The way that she lived so simply. And wow, I recommend that highly. We also went to Meow Wolf in Santa Fe, which was super cool. So new experiences, you know, you could go to a ball game or any kind of new thing that you can do is uh, really enriching to your life. Uh, la next is going to a new city. So I'm going to repeat myself with some of these new restaurants and new experiences, but new city, uh, I like I said, spring break, we went to Pagosa Springs, we went to Santa Fe, we went to Abiquiu, and then my daughter and I also went to the new Bucky's in Johnstown, Colorado. And last is YouTube or social post. So I have this YouTube channel, Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, this is a great time to say, please subscribe to my channel, Life's Art in the Foothills. Um, I am an art teacher and I love all things art. Uh, I live in the foothills of Denver, Colorado, the Rocky Mountain foothills. So that's why I named my channel Life's Art in the Foothills. Um, and I try to do the recommended eight videos per month, uh, which can sometimes be hard because I'm so busy all the time that it is actually hard to make a video, create a video, make it, meaning edit it down, and then get it up online for everyone to, to watch and enjoy. Um, so that's why I have, uh, YouTube, make YouTube videos on my bullet journal list. So a few of the ones that I have made recently are some of the new experiences that I had, the dog sled ride, um, meow wolf. So check out some of my other videos 
And thanks for watching this bullet journal video. Um, I hope that I've inspired you to make a bullet journal. Again, it's 24 things that you wanna do 24 times in the year 2024. And 20, by 24 times, you could say, oh, I'm gonna read my book for 24 minutes tonight. And that would count as one. It doesn't have to be an entire book. And you can make your own kind of rules and things as you go along, but it's not a rule thing. It's not about whatever. It's about you enriching your life and having a better life an artistic life, a life full of health and positivity and new experiences and fun with your family or your friends and your dog and even yourself about becoming a healthier person and leading a healthier lifestyle. And just by doing that, you will be healthier and happier and live longer and have a great time doing it. So again, I'm Jules from Life's Art. Please subscribe to my channel. If you do make a bullet journal, I hope that this has helped you with some things that you could put on your own. And please uh, share with me in the comments anything that you liked and are adopting into your bullet journal for 2024. Thanks again, signing out. Have a great day.